Hi, my name is Carrie Roop, and I'm doing this video as my statement, but I am going to have to read from what I have written because I'm not a very good speaker. I've had enough of living in fear. I'm doing this video to make the cops and the ministry leave me alone. I'm tired of their threats and living from day to day. I'm, excuse me, without knowing how I'm going to eat or have a place to sleep. I want to go home to the man I love and live a normal life again like everyone else. I saw Frank's videos yesterday and everything he said is true. <clears throat> and the one with Barry Kennedy, I was forced to say those things about Frank by Barry. Frank is the only one that ever treated me with love and respect. Like he said, and he never did any of those things that they said for me to say about him. I will never forget what those five men did to me at the prison on January 24th, 2013, for as long as I live. I thought they were going to kill me. I know now that I have to speak out about everything they wanted me not to talk about. <clears throat> They are doing all this to me to cover up the murder of my firstborn child. They have tortured me for over 25 years of my life and it stops today before they decide to kill me. I'm not very good at this, so the best way I know how to do this is the list of names of people that I have been, that I have been tortured by. And, excuse me. I've been tortured by these people, so I have written a list. I wrote most of everything on Frank's truck, but a lot has happened since they kidnapped my kids. Charles Elvin McKee is my father. He murdered my baby by holding his hand over the baby's mouth. Ken Aziz and James Turner. They sexually molested me starting when I was eight years old, and it stopped when I was 12. They were present when the murder took place. There was also one other man, but I cannot remember his name. Doug Newman, Barb Weber. I was the one who brought the cops to my house to arrest my father for the other crimes, but not the murder. I think they knew about the murder because they dug up the backyard and said that they were looking for guns, but I think they were looking for the baby's body. Ministry of Children and Families in Shetland, B.C. that tortured me and my children. Kim DeVoos, Bonnie Avey, Kathy Kennedy, District of Ministry of Children and Families in Dawson Creek. MCFD, McBride, B.C. and Prince George. They knew about the murder and threatened me and tortured me to be silent and lie about Frank. The names are Raleen Brace, Jesse Smith, Aaron Earl, Beth Fredericks, Ashley, Emily, Elizabeth Dupree, Penny Rivard, Melanie Johnson, Jeff, Jennifer Quam, Tamara Parker, and Renee Spence. Jeff McDonald, Crown Prosecutor. He said I had to lie about Frank to shut him up and make this all go away, and if I didn't, he said I would go to prison or to a mental hospital for the rest of my life. Barry Kennedy, Pete Bernstad, Brady, Nathan Fox, McBride Detachment. They all threatened me that I would go to prison if I didn't do what the ministry wanted me to do. They also made me think that I was doing something good for our com community if I reported what people, what people that they wanted me to associate with was doing criminally. But I now know they were just trying to make me look bad for the rest of the community. They never did anything about the things I reported, not even when I was going, when I was gang raped going to town by these people. I also told Erin Earl about what had happened to me, and she did nothing. Simon Wagstaff, Michael Reed, Charles Hutchinson's. Simon Wagstaff told me I was out of everything. 
he put Michael Reed and Charles as my lawyer and to this day I have not known anything about the courts and what is happening there. The only conversation I had with Charles is when he called me about mediation on April 30th with Frank. I have not been told about any court or have been given any papers for court ever. All the documents I did have Barry Kennedy and Jesse Smith they took from my house so I have no papers. Thank you. Have a nice day.